It's been over 50 years since we first walked on the moon. We collected samples, fired instruments, and tested the soil. More than 40 missions have circled it, landed on it, and crashed into it on purpose just to learn a little more. It's the most studied world in our sky. And yet, only now is NASA finding something hidden beneath its crust. Something dense, ancient, and completely unexpected. For decades, we believed the moon was simple. A silent sphere of rock, shaped by time, frozen by cold, predictable in every way that mattered. Its gravity was weak, its interior quiet, its history written across the scars of ancient craters. But as NASA newer instruments began probing deeper than ever before, that old certainty slowly started to fracture. Buried beneath the lunar crust, scientists detected a mass so dense, so strangely concentrated, that it shouldn't exist inside a world this small. The readings didn't match any known geological process. They didn't resemble metal deposits, volcanic remnants, or asteroid fragments. They pointed to something else, something hidden for billions of years, pressing into the moon's interior with impossible weight. And the deeper NASA looks, the stranger this buried structure becomes. NASA first clue came quietly, a set of gravitational readings from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter that didn't fit the expected curve. Most variations on the moon's surface could be explained by ancient craters, leftover basalt flows, or scattered pockets of dense material. But this was different. The anomaly lay far beneath the crust, deeper than any volcanic process should reach, and far more concentrated than any asteroid fragment ever measured. At first, scientists assumed it was a sensor drift, an error in calibration, a misalignment, a rare noise spike in the orbital data stream. So they reran the analysis, then they ran it again, and again. Each time, the same impossible signature appeared, a gravitational pull far stronger than the surrounding terrain, as if something unimaginably heavy was buried under a landscape that should have been empty bedrock. Two spacecraft that mapped the moon's gravity field with extreme precision. The signature matched. A deep, dense object had been sitting there the whole time, hidden inside the lunar mantle, unnoticed until the sensitivity of newer instruments caught its outline. The mass itself wasn't the only mystery. It was the shape. Instead of being scattered irregularly like debris, it formed a smooth, coherent structure beneath one of the moon's oldest basins. It stretched across hundreds of kilometers, maintaining a density far beyond typical lunar rock, almost as if it had been forged elsewhere and later embedded into the moon's interior. Geologists struggled to fit it into any known model. There were no signs of volcanic tunnels, no evidence of ancient lava seas that could have pooled dense material, and no fingerprints of a metallic asteroid of the necessary size. Even if such an impact had occurred, gravity should have pulled the material downward in chaotic streaks, not into a uniform, continuous mass. More troubling was its gravitational influence. Landers passing over this region, from early Luna missions to modern probes, had unknowingly been subjected to subtle but measurable shifts in trajectory. Small course corrections, once attributed to guidance system noise, now appeared connected to the buried anomaly. The moon had been tugging at spacecraft in ways no one realized. NASA modeling teams attempted to reconstruct its origin. If it came from an asteroid, its density would have to be comparable to iron-nickel cores. But even then, the volume of material needed would exceed anything previously detected in the solar system. If it were volcanic, it would imply an interior heat flow that the moon hasn't had for billions of years. If it were primordial, something left over from the moon's formation, it should be scattered in layers not bound into a single cohesive block. Every explanation collapsed under its own contradictions. What made things stranger was the thermal signature, or rather, the absence of one. The region showed no excess heat, no radioactive decay, no elevated seismic activity. Whatever it was, it had been sitting motionless inside the moon for eons, cold and untouched, yet dense enough to warp local gravity. The anomaly also influenced how the moon's surface handled electricity, a phenomenon observed by Apollo astronauts but never fully explained. Dust clung to equipment in ways that defied expectations. Charged particles lofted above the surface even in regions without solar wind. Now, with the discovery of the buried mass, scientists wondered if the moon's strange electrostatic behavior was not surface level at all, but instead tied to the unseen structure deep below. Theories emerged. Some were conservative, a collapsed pocket of heavy minerals trapped by early mantle convection. Others were bolder, 
a fragment of an ancient protoplanet swallowed during the violent infancy of the solar system. A few researchers proposed an even stranger possibility, that the mass could be the solidified remnant of something artificial, perhaps an impactor shell or an engineered object from an unknown origin. NASA, of course, did not make such speculations public, but off-record conversations among scientists revealed how deeply unsettling the discovery felt. Because whatever the anomaly was, it did not behave like any natural geological structure ever detected in space. The upcoming Artemis missions suddenly had new priorities. Landing sites were reconsidered. Orbital trajectories were adjusted to collect more gravity data. New instruments were proposed, radar tomography, deep mantle resonance scans, and directional seismic packages. For the first time in decades, NASA wasn't just studying the moon. It was investigating it, probing a question that no one had asked before. What if the moon has been hiding something fundamental about its interior this entire time? As more data streamed in, the anomaly grew sharper, not softer. The gravitational map revealed that the structure wasn't a feature. It was an intrusion, a foreign mass pressed into the moon's body as if by some impossible event. The edges were too clean, the density too focused, the depth too exact. Whatever it was, it wasn't random. The deeper NASA looked, the more it resembled something with form, something with boundaries. Not geometric, not artificial in the human sense, but structured enough to suggest intention. Or at least, a process so unfamiliar that it might as well have been intentional. Some teams proposed an extraordinary possibility that the anomaly was not the remains of an object that struck the moon, but a remnant of something that formed inside it. Perhaps a core fragment of a primordial world. Perhaps a relic from the chaotic birth of the Earth-Moon system. Perhaps something older, stranger, beyond the tidy stories of planetary science. For now, NASA has released only the data, not the implications. But those implications grow louder with every new reading. Something massive is buried beneath the moon. Something dense, something ancient, something that should not be there. And every mission we send brings us one step closer to learning what that something truly is. But then, the anomaly did something no one expected. For decades, it remained silent, inert, an ancient weight buried in darkness. Then NASA newest orbital pass registered a subtle change, not in mass, but in motion. The buried structure had shifted, not by much, not enough to trigger seismic activity, just a fraction of a millimeter. But inside a world as geologically quiet as the moon, even that was impossible. Nothing should move beneath a mantle frozen for billions of years. At first, scientists blamed instrument noise. Then, there is stray solar interference. But the shift happened again on the next pass. And again, each movement aligned with tiny disturbances in the moon's electric field, faint pulses rising from the same region where the anomaly rests. As if something deep inside the moon wasn't just sitting there, but responding. The discovery forced a new question onto every screen at NASA colon. If this mass is capable of movement, what exactly is buried inside the moon? The pulses faded as quickly as they appeared, leaving behind only silence and questions. NASA's instruments circled again and again, searching for another shift, another tremor, another sign that the buried mass was still active. But the moon returned to its ancient stillness, as if whatever moved beneath the surface had withdrawn back into the cold. Almost watching, almost waiting. In the days that followed, NASA teams worked through the night, comparing signals, recalibrating sensors, and running simulations that stretched the boundaries of known physics. Each model ended the same way, with something inside the moon that should not be able to move, yet somehow did. Something dense enough to warp gravity, silent enough to hide for billions of years, and strange enough to mimic intention without revealing its nature. Out here, in the quiet of space, mysteries rarely announce themselves. They whisper, they echo, they shift in the dark, daring us to notice. And now, for the first time, humanity must confront the possibility that the moon's interior is far more active, or far more extraordinary, than we ever imagined. Because if something deep beneath the lunar surface can move, what else in our solar system is waiting to be discovered beneath the worlds we thought we understood?